So let me run a scenario by you, dear viewer. You're a major game publisher and you have a re-release of a game coming up. This game didn't initially sell amazing, but it didn't sell poorly. It could have done really well with some word of mouth and maybe some stronger marketing. So what do you do in this situation? Do you A, put money into marketing the game's re-release? B, do a little social media campaign to spread awareness of the re-release? Or C, absolutely nothing at all. Returnal launched on PC on February 15th and Sony did next to nothing to promote it. Now, before anyone says anything about the PC version being a total flop, I do want to point out that it was in the top 10 on Steam for a decent amount of time, and it's still on the bestseller charts. So it's not like it was just a complete fart in the wind or anything, but Sony seriously botched this, and I cannot understand why. The game launched on February 15th, but the main PlayStation Twitter account didn't even say anything about it until the next day. There was no hype campaign, there was no social media campaign, there was literally no legitimate marketing for this. And now, shocker, it's not doing as well as it probably could have. By all accounts, this is a great game, and the PC community has a really big roguelike scene, so this really should have been a slam dunk for Sony, but they completely fumbled this. Let me be very, very clear about this. Returnal's PC sales being disappointing are entirely Sony's fault. Most people didn't even know this game was coming out on PC, and once it did come out on PC, a lot of people didn't even know what this thing was because there was no marketing. Again, the PS5 version of Returnal didn't do as well as Sony was expecting it to, and that's because the marketing really wasn't that good when you look back at it. I do admit that it's a tad hard to market a game like this to a mainstream audience, but that's the beautiful thing about PC ports. You don't have to market to a mainstream audience over here. The PC player base plays a shit ton of indie games and weird obscure simulation games. You didn't have to be mainstream over here. All you had to do was cut a few trailers together with splices of gameplay, you know, show off the graphics, do one of those charts with the recommended specs, do that as a big Twitter thread, juice that thread every few days leading up to release, and boom, you have a huge success on your hands. And I'm confident in it being that simple, because that's literally what Sony has been doing for their other ports, and it's been working just fine. Why didn't you do it here? Seriously, I don't understand why this stopped being the strategy. Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, Days Gone, they all sold tremendously on PC, because they had half-decent marketing campaigns and social media pushes. Shit, Days Gone and Horizon didn't even have much hype surrounding them, and Horizon's port wasn't even that good, but they still managed to sell super well on PC just through the bare minimum of a social media campaign that Sony ran for them. And then you have Spider-Man, which was fucking dominant on Steam, and it still is. I really don't understand why Sony suddenly decided to stop trying with their PC marketing. Again, all you have to do is splice a couple trailers together and juice them on Twitter every once in a while, and the internet will do the rest for you. But with Returnal, it's like they genuinely forgot about it. Again, the PC launch trailer wasn't even tweeted out until the day after the game launched. How do you fuck this up so badly? And it's not the first time this has happened with Sony PC ports either. Sony has just been getting really sloppy for some reason. Uncharted didn't do great because, again, there was next to no marketing for it, and Sony also thought it would be a fantastic idea to launch it right next to a bunch of major AAA releases. Same with Sackboy. I made an entire video about that whole fiasco, so you can go watch that if you want. And again, little side note, you launched Returnal on PC with no marketing in between Hogwarts Legacy and Atomic Hearts. You're lucky anyone bought this thing. And before you say something like, oh, PC gamers just don't care about PlayStation games anymore, I just want to point out that The Last of Us doesn't even launch on PC for another month, and it's somehow on the Steam charts already. You know why? Because Sony and Naughty Dog are actually marketing it. But that brings us to the title of the video. I thought it was important to give you the backstory here because it seems like a lot of people on Twitter are just blaming PC gamers for Returnal's underwhelming launch, when that honestly could not be further from the truth. I mean, PC gamers are the same people that juiced games like Spider-Man, Days Gone, Death Stranding, God of War, and they're the ones currently juicing The Last of Us remake despite it being completely pointless and overpriced. The shortcomings of Returnal on the PC are 100% Sony's fault. No one else's. But leave it to gaming Twitter to completely miss that fact. Sony will slow right down releasing on PC. They don't buy full price games, so literally no point in making it a priority in any way. The numbers don't lie. Yeah, the numbers don't lie. Like these numbers. And these numbers. And the fact that, again, The Last of Us is already on the Steam top selling charts and it's not out for another month. Like, do you guys just have blinders on? Do you guys not care? Or do you just not want these games to sell well on PC because you're married to a plastic box under your TV? Also, I just realized I had Valorant open in the background on my PC. 
and my headset was next to my mic. So if you heard the Valorant menu music at any point, you aren't you aren't insane. That was that was me being stupid and forgetting that I had a game minimized. So moving on. Hopefully they stop wasting their time with these PC ports and put that money and effort into remastering games like Infamous and Resistance. Bro, like seriously, this attitude is so fucking pompous. Hopefully they stop doing new things and appealing to a wider audience and instead use that money to literally sell me the same game a second time. And that's coming from someone who loved Infamous. I would shit my pants if Infamous was ported to PC. But actively hoping Sony stops doing new things so you can buy the same game a second time? Like seriously? Like, how blatantly anti-consumer can you be? Considering the game was cracked in under 30 minutes, maybe this will be a lesson to Sony, unless it's a gas game. I don't, I don't fucking know what that is. That is always online. Make PC gamers hold out longer than one year, or even two years. They just pirate the games. Very sad this game seemed like a hit for PC gamers. I love this thing that Sony fanboys do, where they just literally ignore everything that's happened prior to 20 minutes ago. Because the last 20 minutes are what back up their worldview. Before 20 minutes ago, you know, when Sony games were selling millions of copies in like a matter of weeks, despite their age and despite them being overpriced. Like again, Horizon Zero Dawn, that wasn't even a good port. Days Gone, that wasn't even a well-received game. Death Stranding, you have the PC community to basically thank for that game being revived. But now all of a sudden, oh no, PC gamers don't buy games. They all just pirate games, all of them. They all pirate games. Except for, you know, the multiple millions worth of them that bought the game. Like, oh my god. PlayStation is having flop after flop on PC. I hope this is the catalyst that makes them stop porting games to PC. PC gamers that want PS exclusives have a PlayStation. Literally not true. <laughs> Literally not true. Sony isn't having flop after flop. Sony is just getting fucking sloppy. Because this is what Sony does. This is the pattern that they do this, like they've been doing this for decades. Sony does something right. They get on a big high. They do, a, they make a bunch of money off of something. And then they just get fucking sloppy with that thing's follow up. This happens every single time they do something right. The PlayStation 2 was a raging success. PlayStation 3, complete fucking bomb at launch because Sony got pompous. PlayStation 4, big success, great success. And then the idea of crossplay comes in and Sony's like, no, you can't have crossplay. You can't have crossplay. Why? Because we want more money. You can't have EA play. We want more money. And now the same thing is happening. They hyped up their initial PC ports. They marketed them really well. And now they're just, you know, throwing them out without marketing them and without even saying anything about them now. Like it blows my mind that you can look at the complete garbage botched launch of Returnal on PC and blame anybody but Sony. How are PC gamers supposed to buy a game if they don't even know it's out? And what is this, you know, flop after, oh, they're having flop after flop on PC. I can think of maybe four Sony ports that underperformed. And even then, I don't even know if Returnal is underperforming because again, this game didn't sell that great on the PS5 either. It sold like half a million copies on the PS5, which is way under what most first party Sony games sell. But aside from that, the game is still pretty high up on the Steam charts. It's not like this game completely flopped. It's doing perfectly well, it's just not doing as well as Sony probably would have hoped. But okay, for the sake of argument, let's call Returnal a flop. What other Sony flops have there been? I can think of Sackboy, which again, that game didn't do well on PlayStation either. So maybe it's just a game that people didn't want. I can think of Uncharted. When that came to PC, that didn't sell very well. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe it's because it was Uncharted 4 and they skipped the first three. And then I can think of Spider-Man Miles Morales, which again, they barely marketed the PC release of that game. And if you need any more evidence that, you know, Miles Morales not doing well on PC was Sony's fault, look at the sales of Spider-Man 1. Like Spider-Man 1 did this, and then Miles Morales did this. Clearly it's not PC gamers fault, but by all means, keep damage controlling for Sony. You know, just like, <laughs> Sony can never do anything wrong. The quickest way to turn Sony off for furthering their endeavors post PS3 era is to ignore their current endeavors. Okay, I know this is kind of off topic, but this, this tweet really speaks to the kind of mindset these people have. You want people to buy the products they don't want in order to make sure better ones are made in the future? Because that's what this tweet is saying. Like, let that sink in. You're telling people that in order for Sony to make good stuff in the future, we need to buy the stuff that they do today, regardless of whether or not we want it or we even know it exists. 
I know shitting on capitalism and open markets is the cool thing with the kids these days, but this is fucking nonsensical. Believe it or not, financially encouraging bad behavior is the single most effective way to ensure that bad behavior never stops. Why the fuck would a company make better products in the future if they're already profiting off the low effort ones today? That's like if a teacher says they're going to give everyone in the class an A on an exam, regardless of how well everyone actually does, but then they still expect the students to try on the exam. Why would they? Why would they try? They're gonna get an A anyways. If you want a company to do better, don't fucking buy the shit they're shoveling at you. And again, this is completely off topic to the, you know, the wider point of this video, because the reasons for Returnal's lower sales are entirely Sony's fault. It really has nothing to do with the consumer. But that goes back to this stupid fucking tweet. The consumer can't buy a product that they don't know exists. But by all means, shame people for not buying it anyways. Damn, I thought this game would hit on PC since the gameplay loop was so good. The disrespect, PC gamers don't deserve PlayStation greatness, and greatness is capitalized for some reason. I also thought this game would hit on PC, and again, for like the seventh time, it's still selling well. If anything, this should be a testament as to how good the game actually is, because despite Sony completely botching the launch, it's still sitting in the Steam top sellers list almost a week after it came out. It didn't get any help, and it's still up there. But again, again, for like the 20th time, with PlayStation fanboys just ignoring anything that happened more than 20 minutes ago. Spider-Man and God of War sat at the top of Steam for fucking weeks. Whenever Spider-Man goes on sale on Steam, it's at the fr like it's on the front page. PC gamers absolutely buy these games. We just have to fucking know they're there. Look, I get it if you like Sony. I get it if you don't want to blame them for their mistakes, but that doesn't mean the mistakes were never made. Sony flubbed this game's PC launch hard, and if you want evidence of that, just look at all the Sony PC ports that have done tremendously, which frankly is most of them. I don't know what Sony's deal has been recently, but they consistently sell tons of copies of games they promote, while the games they don't promote don't sell well. This isn't rocket science. If you want to point the finger at anyone for Returnal doing worse than you think it should have, point it at Sony, because frankly, they've failed this game twice now. The marketing for the PS5 version was not good, and then the marketing for the PC version was non-existent. And it's a damn shame, because by all accounts, this game is worth your attention. So if you want Sony to keep making quality products, just stop excusing their mistakes, because they're letting great games go unnoticed while the safe, repetitive nonsense gets all the attention. Demand better from these companies. That's literally the only way things are going to improve. Toodles.